Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another cryptocurrency video and today I want to talk about Core, that is cvault.finance, okay, you can see it over here on CoinGecko, some of you may know what this is already and some of you may not, but um, why do I want to talk about this, okay, so it's reached a peak of around $9,800 um, approximately, okay, and it has had a bit of a pullback and we've got this broadening um, falling broadening wedge okay now this isn't a valid pattern at the moment but um, it could be um, if we got one more touch at the top but um, yeah I just thought I'd uh, point that out to you but I actually bought this coin down at about $700 um, now I can't take the credit for all of this because um, it was actually pointed out to me by a subscriber on my channel and I actually can't remember the name of the subscriber or which video it was on at the time I would shout them out so uh, but because but, I don't I can't but it was pointed out to me on the 27th of September and as you can see I did say that I got in at around $700 so around about here okay over here on the 27th of September I was letting people know that I just bought core I took 200% profit on core on that day all right guys but I also pointed out why core is different or why I thought it was different okay because it's a deflationary farming token and you can actually pause that and have a read of that in your own time if you'd really like to okay guys I will go over some of the tokenomics or fundamentals um, should I say in this video anyway but just to show you guys that you can actually join my telegram group just by going onto the pinned comment or the it's in the description for parabolic if you go on there and you just buy something even if it's something small a mug or some socks a hoodie a t-shirt whatever just take a screenshot of what you bought send me an email which is also in the description and i'll send you an invite to get into the telegram group people are pointing out chart setups they're pointing out projects like this um you know there's all sorts going on in there guys you know people are coming to me for help and support so you know we're helping each other out in the group and um, we're making profits all right guys so um i'll just tell you why i think this is different and um, why i think it could potentially go much higher especially if it breaks um this previous high now you can look at some of the um tokenomics on coin gecko all right guys but it's got a maximum supply of ten thousand. okay a year in finance has a maximum supply of 30,000. Now, there's a lot of these coins that are coming out with these similar types of low supplies, but they're not all going to make you money. You know, a lot of them are rug pulls. A lot of them will dump on your head, okay? Now, why I don't think that this is a rug pull? Because it's almost impossible. I have seen a few other videos on this since, all right, guys? And um, people have talked about the fact that if you farm, right? So if you stake um, and, and put your liquidity in, you actually cannot withdraw it. So that's one of the things that some people like, some people don't. The fact that you can't take liquidity out, that's, that's what this thing is meant to be designed for. Add liquidity and farm tokens and earn uh, dividends on it, all right, guys? But, People are adding liquidity, they're taking it out, they're adding liquidity, they're taking it out. And also, when you can't take the liquidity out, it might take you a little bit longer to get your initial investment back because the tokens that you get from farming, you're basically saving those up, waiting to get um, you know your initial investment out. Just from what I see other people saying, it could take you about between 50 and 60 days to get your initial investment back out right that's not me doing the mathematics that's me just repeating what i've heard on other videos okay but one thing i haven't heard anyone really talk about is some of the other unique properties in regards to this okay so it's a non-inflationary cryptocurrency that is designed to execute profit generating strategies autonomously with a completely decentralized approach in existing autonomous strategy executing platforms a team or single developer is solely responsible for determining how locked funds are used to generate return on investments this is hazardous to the health of the fund as it grows as it creates flawed incentives and invites mistakes to be made core does away with this dynamic and instead opts for one with decentralized governance core token holders will be able to provide strategy contracts and vote on what goes live and when in order to decentralize autonomous strategy execution five percent of all profits generated from these strategies are used to auto market by the core token 
Okay, so nothing new there with, you know, um, it's a buyback, okay? So the core team is kickstarting the initial distribution with a liquidity event. Now, this is passed, by the way. So contribute ETH to the core fair launch smart contract to receive tokens and the contribute to ETH will be matched and added to the Uniswap liquidity pool. Note that once added liquidity tokens cannot be removed from the core Uniswap pools. This is by design. Read only to learn, read on, sorry, to learn about why. So we've already talked about that, okay? You can't withdraw it out of the liquidity pool once you put it in. So if you do state tokens, be aware of that, all right? Okay, now we get into the meat and potatoes of why this is really something to watch okay so to encourage real value and tvl to flow into core core smart tracks employ interchangeable strategies that farm the coins inside the pools this gives a great incentive to anyone who wants to farm core with coins other than core eth lp all the yield staked funds will go to market by core this creates a positive relationship for both parties Core holders will always benefit from the yield bearing activities done on the core smart contracts. Even when farmers sell, a transfer fee on sales of core tokens are returned to the farming pools. This means buying pressure will generally be more intense than selling pressure. Hence the fact that we see the price going up, right? It's, it's clear that the buying pressure is more intense than the selling pressure. Okay, this is probably the this is the biggest sell-off that we've seen so far. Alright. Uh, let's go back bottom line governance ensures apy is higher in core value pools many believe the act of adding additional pools is disincentivized by the fact that it can dilute the rewards for the pools people are currently farming in our model this is lessened by the nature of core fees being paid out by additional farming pools although farmers are diluted in their rewards the core they have appreciates in value due to the positive market pressure deflationary farming so it explains uh, a common misconception that people have with farming tokens all right now i can explain it in my own words or i can just read it here so it says farming tokens have a problem for their owners to keep users farming they have to mint ever more coins this completely destroys the value of the underlying token due to excessive inflation it's easy to find examples of this across a DeFi ecosystem so if you notice a lot of coins that people are farming well I've, I've done it i've tried it myself okay so you buy a token right you then half that you know um uh, you, you well you put it into liquidity on uniswap right so you got to put half eth and half of uh, whatever token it is right then you go onto whatever website um, of, of whatever coin you're looking to farm, and then you 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 add that liquidity into there. You transfer it and you farm in there. Okay. Now, obviously, what people don't understand is a lot of the time, you know, unless you're really, really, really early, right? A lot of the time, they're they're offering high APYs because um, obviously they're trying to draw you in and incentivize you, right? But, you know, these protocols are designed to get your money from you. Don't get it twisted, right? Um, something like this is obviously, you know, um, it comes under the guise that they're here for the consumer or, or the investor, should I say, um, to protect your assets, all right? But in a lot of these, right, it doesn't protect your asset, right? You're farming. And what that's doing is it's minting more tokens. And as more tokens are minted, that causes the price of the actual token to decrease, okay? Because obviously the token supply is increasing constantly, all right? So it's not wise to do it for a very long time, in my opinion. But this changes something, all right? So our solution is called deflationary farming. And it's quite simple in only two steps. Charge a fee on token transfers. Users can earn the fee by farming. This simple process means that those holding tokens are able to farm without infinite inflation. All transfers have to be approved by the core transfer smart contract, which will block all liquidity withdrawals from Uniswap. This will guarantee a stable market, giving holders and farmers skin in the game. Core is designed for great community governance. From developer fees to deciding on the fee approver contract, adding new pools, rebalancing, and even disabling pools in the core transfer contract. If the holders desired core should have a Wi Fi pool, we can set the ratio of fees it will be able to distribute, as well as when people should be able to withdraw Wi Fi tokens from it. This creates an incentive to hold even more core by the holders of Wi Fi tokens. 
let the governance begin. Okay, 10,000 core forever. There's absolutely no way to create new core tokens. This means the circulating supply can only ever go down, period. So there will never be more than 10,000 core tokens, right? And this supply is getting eaten up by the buyers right now. So that's what makes this different. I don't know whether you think that that is worth, you know, risking a little bit of capital into at the end of the day, but I certainly have. I've ended up having to buy at a much more expensive price. I even bought it and it's even actually dropped since. Okay, now I'm not telling you that you should run out and buy this. Okay, all I'm saying is that if it can take this all time high back out, it could be a lot higher for this token to go. We've seen it with Yarn Finance, all right? A lot of people may have been skeptical about it in the beginning, but we've seen it reach highs of 42 or 43 thousand dollars. All right, guys. Now this has only just begun. It's only been a week. All right, since the 27th of September. Okay. Or well, the 26th of September. Okay, I got into it um, on the next day. All right. I only wish I would have held it all the way up here, but we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Okay. At the end of the day, this to me could have been the end. All right, but um, it clearly isn't. And if I would have understood the model a little bit better at the time, I probably would have just bought one or two tokens and just held them. All right, but um, unfortunately, I didn't do that. All right, guys, so that is core C Vault, not finance. Core is a ticker. All right, guys, you can actually go and check out the chart on that as well on chartex.pro on a lower time frame, obviously. If you hire the time frame, it does look like it could get a bounce and go up for a third wave potentially. All right, guys, but it could correct much more. But if you compare this with the chart on Yearn Finance, for example, it gives you an idea of the possibilities. All right, guys, everyone's looking for the next YFI. This could be it. Who knows? Uh, there will be copycat projects. I'm almost certain of that. But um, there's always first mover advantage which is something that, that's good to buy into okay and this definitely has that well guys so that's about it for now that is c vault finance or core all right guys so let me know what you think in the comments about that and uh, if you're not subscribed already subscribe get over onto twitter and follow me there and i'll see you guys in the next video if you would like to support the channel there's actually a way you can do that now while getting something out of it for yourself we have a new clothing brand called parabolic this is a brand dedicated to the crypto space I use the name Parabolic because that's the kind of movement we like to see in those charts. Now there's a range of products you can choose from, from hoodies, vests, socks, even face masks during this pandemic time. And we're using a lightsaber to represent the YouTube channel. Okay, there'll be a link in the description so you can go and check that out. Got a range of different colors, range of different products, all right? And what I'll actually be doing is for the first 100 people that do actually buy something, if you send me a message, what I'll do is I'll send you a free invite for the new telegram group which will be a paid telegram group okay after that okay so the first 100 people you will get a invite sent to you for free all right even if you buy something as small as a mug you will get that just to show my appreciation for your support as well okay guys so you've got a chance to be the exclusive members of the new group you've also got a chance to get your hands on some exclusive merchandise so link in the description get on over to the website and make your purchase now remember trend is your friend.